Hello there, it's Dong Dong again. If you're new, my name is Dong Dong Wu. I was born and raised in China. I lived in Hong Kong for five years and I moved back to China last year. So I think I'm qualified to talk about the topic. This video would not discuss politics or the impact of COVID-19. If you are curious about the differences between the day-to-day -day life in a normal state, then you're in the right place. All right, let's dive in. The first difference is the cost of living. Since I am living in Hangzhou, I will use Hangzhou's expenses as examples. Bear in mind, Hangzhou is a big city. The expenses here are higher than average. And I will convert the numbers into US dollar, make it easier for you to compare. If I have a casual but nice dinner out with friends, in Hong Kong, it normally costs 25 to 40 dollar per person. In China, 15 dollar, you get a feast. If I take a cab for a half an hour ride, in Hong Kong, that's around $15. In Hangzhou, I only have to pay five or six dollars for rent. In Hong Kong, my friend and I rented a flat about 40 square meters. The monthly rent was $2,200. This flat in Hangzhou is also 40 square meters. The rent was 540. The rent in Hong Kong is four times the rent in Hangzhou. Although Hong Kong has higher salaries, it is still harder to cover the incredibly high rent and housing prices there. It's very common to see a family of four live in a cramped apartment like this big. With the same rent to income ratio, the living space in China is larger. The second difference is the density and pace of life. Hong Kong is faster paced and denser in terms of buildings and population. Hong Kong is small, but it has 7.5 million people. Sidewalks are narrow and crowded. Buildings are tall and cramped. I always had to queue to get in a restaurant or bank. China has a large population too, but not as dense as Hong Kong. The sidewalks are wider, buildings are lower, more scattered. I can always get food without queuing. Life in Hong Kong is go, go, go. You can see from the escalator speed. In Hong Kong, you gotta be careful stepping on them because you might lose balance. When I lived there, I made a habit of walking as fast as I can. I hated slow walkers. Now in China, the habit is gone. I am a slow walker myself. There won't be people always saying excuse me and squeezing by. Now comes to the third difference, internet. In Hong Kong, I could get on any website. China has a great firewall, if you already know. All the major internet platforms are blocked or censored. We don't have access to Google, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Reddit, even YouTube. In China, if you want to get connected with the world, you need a VPN, but it's really slow and sometimes it just doesn't work. That, I would say, is the biggest drawback of moving to China. Four, Hong Kong is more international than mainland China. Living in Hong Kong is like living overseas. I can buy things from all over the world with good prices. In China, not so easy. Hong Kong is a very foreigner-friendly city. English is one of the official languages. China is a whole different world for foreigners, especially if they don't speak Chinese. My husband Joe is American. He told me Hong Kong had no barriers for him. It was way easier to fit in Hong Kong than fit in China. For me, one big thing is food. In China, I get Chinese food or Chinese version of foreign food. In Hong Kong, I can get Egyptian food, Greek food, Argentine food, any food from the world. It's a food paradise. Another thing is, in Hong Kong, you can see foreign movies when they first release. But in China, many of them either are months late or they never even make to Chinese market. That leads to the fifth difference, fun level. For me, Hong Kong has more fun than mainland China. On one side, it's a very modern city. Pubs and clubs, musical and art shows, 
anything entertaining. On the other side, it has all kinds of outdoor activities and easy access to nature. To your surprise, 75% of Hong Kong's land are parks, beaches, islands, and mountains. I can see different sceneries, go kayaking or hiking simply by public transport. In China, the top fun thing to do is to eat. Bars here are quiet. Hiking trails are more spread out. They are not as easy to get to without a car. The sixth difference is what I think the most interesting one. It only came up the last five years. While I was living in Hong Kong, China has experienced a rapid growth on e-commerce and internet technology. China is becoming a cashless society. Everyone uses WeChat Pay and Alipay, which are mobile payment apps. I never bring a wallet here. Some stores don't have change if you pay by cash. In Hong Kong, wallet is still a necessity. Most people pay by cash or cards. Not only to pay, now my phone can do many things I had to do manually in Hong Kong. I don't have to leave home to buy groceries, pay utility, send mails, or get bank things done. Hong Kong in many cases still maintain the old ways. Public services involve a lot of paperwork, mailing, and fax, and checks. The seventh difference is urban environment. Hong Kong is cleaner, tidier, and has more developed facilities. Hong Kong is well built. Every brick is solid. If there is a construction or even a minor repair, there will always be signs and warning lines and barriers to make sure you are out of the sight. The city has millions of signs for you to navigate your way. It is also very disabled friendly. There are wheelchair access and brill everywhere. In Hong Kong, I felt protected and taken care of. Well, China is dirtier and messier. Scooters go wherever they want. There are broken bricks on the street here and there. There could be a hole in the road where workers do construction, but without any warning. In China, I'm always mindful. The last but not least difference people. Hong Kong and Chinese people are both nice and friendly, but in a different way. Hong Kong people are polite, self-disciplined, highly civilized. If you ask for directions, they will make sure you find the way. China people are more raw. Some don't care how other people see them. But if you know a Chinese person well, you will feel the hospitality. An interesting thing is, in China, my friends and I always treat each other, but with Hong Kong friends, we always go Dutch. All right, those are all the eight differences between living in Hong Kong and mainland China from my own experience. You might be asking, it sounds like Hong Kong has many advantages, then why did you leave? I love Hong Kong, actually I miss Hong Kong often. The deal breakers are the first two differences. Hong Kong is too expensive and too busy for me. Before leaving Hong Kong, I was spending one third of my salary on a seven square meter room. My then boyfriend Joe was paying $1,000 on a 13 square meter tiny studio. And we both didn't enjoy our jobs. It was okay for us to stay that way, but deep down we knew we were meant for something else but we couldn't afford to quit our jobs and start something new that wouldn't be profitable for a while. We couldn't see the future. My personality is more laid back and lazy. In Hong Kong, I felt chased. My body was dragging my soul, if you know what I mean. Hong Kong pushed me to grow a lot, which I appreciate, but I also felt constantly stressed. I once had a skin disorder that was triggered by stress and anxiety that made me think a lot. Was it worth it? Knowing every time I went back to China, I felt more relaxed and more opened up. I do have a choice. So I made the decision. Last September, I quit my job, packed my suitcases, left Hong Kong, and moved back to mainland China with my then boyfriend, now husband, Joe. Although the price was I gave up my Hong Kong permanent residency, I felt definitely happier and 
I think it is the best decision I've made. Okay, I've talked enough. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We also had a home decor brand you can check out. I'll link the description. Uh, um, I'll put the description. I'll put the link in the description. <laughs> I'll put the link in the dip, 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 what? Dis I'll put the link in the description. See you next time. Love you.